welcome back one and all. I don't think this is the case. I think Sir Roderick had more than one son. I'm the Arcane Rogue. This is Five Days a Stranger. We're on day five. And we're going to be doing some ghost hunting. Remember what I said about Victorians hiding away children they were ashamed of? I think... I think he had a second son. And he kept the second son chained in that basement. I don't know how any father could do that to his son. Grief aside. She gave birth to twins. And like too many women before her, and too many women after her, passed in childbirth. Possibly, <clears throat> judging by the description Sir Roderick gave, due to eclampsia. For those of you who do not know what the symptoms of eclampsia are, it's essentially kidney failure brought on by severe blood pressure that typically leads to a stroke. A fatal one. <laughs> ladies, for those of you who are ladies that are watching, pregnancy is a big deal. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. See your doctor. Follow their recommendations. I think we saw from the last entry that Sir Roderick went mad and he tried to kill that child. <laughs> he was filled with hatred. He blamed that child for his wife dying, the love of his life. Driven mad by grief. Matthew, being the sensitive boy he was, tried to help his brother. Yeah, that's... His brother lived on long enough to kill them both before he himself died. But what did they do with his body? Who cleaned up? Maybe the servants? Hate. Hate. I'm not anywhere near as good as Grimoth at impersonating Am. <laughs> so we're going to force his soul back into his body and then murder him again. Sure. Sure. Well, we know what to do. Let's go to the library. And, uh, like a Lovecraftian protagonist, let's read some occult texts. Oh, yes, that sounds like a perfectly brilliant idea. Black magic and necromancy. Summoning angry spirits to their bodies. Murderous rays that are nigh indestructible, but when they can when they can hop from body to body, but tying them to their old bodies returns them to partial mortality, a state in which they can be destroyed. Simply enough, place the anim the spirit's original body in a place of fire and death. Well, we have a room like that. Return it 
its old clothes, then read aloud the following passage omitting nothing. There is a load of magic gobbledygook here. When I want to read it out, I should use this book on myself. Summoning of a wraith will often bring forth other unquiet spirits who will haunt those who hold their possessions. Well, I know of a couple unquiet spirits that are certainly around. We've been hearing them. I think we have a plan. Jimbo. What's up, Jimbo? Okay. Sure. Actually, we need them for the summoning. How you feeling, Jimbo? Well, uh, what happened? You touched the idol, didn't you? <laughs> yes. We can skip the part where you locked us in the shed. Yep. He touched the idol. That's because we literally pulled the rug out from under you. <laughs> Me either, Jimbo. Okay. Let's go find us a body. After all, we have all the ingredients. We have a stick. We can make a cord. <sighs> okay, Trilby, be difficult then. Sir Roderick is gone. Can't use the welding mask on the salt? Why ever for not? Okay, maybe we need to find Simone. <laughs> Let's talk to Simone again. How are you feeling? What am I supposed to be doing again? Where do you think the body could be? Yeah, I was trying to, but for some reason, I can't combine my items. You know what? I think I might need a pair of scissors. There's a pair of scissors there. No, Trilby. Trilby. Find the government-approved pixel, Trilby. There we go. 
Got to strip the apron. And we'll tie that. We'll tie this here. We have a stick. That's got to be Roderick and Matthew. It has to be. It's the only explanation. I wonder if the footsteps are the young boys, the other son. Right, we have to wave it over where he slept. Over the manacles. Probably. Seems to be indicating upwards. How, pray tell, does it do that? You know what? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Oh, I guess I should have checked it in the kitchen, because he could be in the backyard. Nope, still upwards. Upstairs we go. Father, no. Please, Father, no. To my right. Well, this is the only room to the right. Southwest. To the east. Straight down. These tiles. Come on. No, not on Trilby. Where's the government approved pixel? Well. There we go. I guess we had to separate them. Oh. Oh. So he wasn't just mad with grief. The kid was maybe deformed. I think we have a plan. Jim? Oh. I guess maybe we have to go tell Simone that we found the body? And then maybe we'll have to go collect Jimbo? Oh, maybe we have to get everything ready for the ritual. That's probably it. Well, let's check the telly. A large number of police cars have gathered around the mansion grounds. We might get rescued. Maybe they heard the tree getting knocked down. Screams.
Huh. Not even a rattle from the front doors. I don't think they're going to get the key. I somehow just don't think it's going to happen. What do you think, dear viewers? Fire? Death? Yes. This room. It will work perfectly. Give him his clothes. It's time. It's time to end this. Let's go get Jim. Go down to the trophy room, please, Jim. Just trust me. I love this song, this track. <clears throat> You'll notice I put down a save. That's because I'm going to demonstrate something to you. Let's summon him. In this hall of death and by the light of Prometheus' gift, I call thee. I bring thee gifts that may tempt thee back. I bring thee thy helm that thy would be masked. I bring thee thy armor that thy would be clothed. I bring thee thy sword that thy would be armed. Come. And we have a wraith. Oh no no, Jim. He has nothing to do with this. Indeed, we could have planned this better, Trilby. Whoops. Try that again. Sir Roderick's rifle. It's very heavy. We better find a place to put it down. Simone, hold to that for us, please. It is. I mean, if Phil was here, he would be a better person, because he's more aligned with Sir Roderick's jerk personality. But, uh... 
He's not. Jimbo? If you could hold the teddy bear? You're going to play the role of Matthew in this psychodrama. And I? Well, I will be the Aporison. Putting the dead back to rest, for this is not their path. The stage is set. All that is left is for the players to do their parts. Here they are. Sir Roderick. Indeed. Matthew. Kind boy, gentle soul. Not too bright, though. No, Sir Roderick. If it has no understanding of human ways, it's because you failed him as a father. Probably a good time to flee. What has been going on in there? Those two. Where's Trilby? Yes, that Trilby. Oh, come now, Simone. Death. Of course, comes to us all. It came to Sir Roderick Defoe and his youngest son in the shape of each other. Was destroying the ghosts the right thing to do? It was acting like any other dumb animal. Oh well. I guess he and his family will have plenty of time to discuss it. Wherever they are. As for me, well, I have no complaints. I've lived a life many would consider out of the ordinary, and I have only one regret. Leaving Simone and Jim to explain it all to the police. That was hardly gentlemanly conduct, for a gentleman thief. But I'm sure they'd understand that rushing out into a field full of police officers wouldn't have been a good idea. Maybe eventually, truly. It's going to be a long walk home. And I have some important matters to attend to. I have to track down my fence, for one thing. Then I have to punch him very hard in the face. This has been Five Days a Stranger. The first of a series of games. What comes next? You'll find out tomorrow. I've been the Arcane Rogue, and as always, I hope you have 
a wonderful day.